neon signs, the flashing lights. Believe it or not, we're in the basement of someone's mansion. And this is their super rich home theater. For privacy and security reasons, we can't reveal the location or the owner's name. But this man has plenty to say. Our typical client is someone that has a lot of money to burn. Meet Theo Calamarakis. People call me the father of home theater, the godfather of home theater. Theo designs outrageous home theaters for ultra-wealthy clients who love watching movies and being in them too. I worked with Eddie Murphy, Seth MacFarlane, and The Rock. Hollywood A-listers, sports stars, oligarchs, heads of state, they all pay The Godfather big money to create movie magic. Put a half a million dollars and goes up to a million, two million, three million. I want your heart to start pulsating from just the exposure to this light show. And if those neon lights don't get your heart pounding, the price tag will. Our box office mannequin in this theater is Elsie. I was a, an expensive sculpture back then, it was about $20,000. These two doors are made out of three or four different exotic veneers, highly polished ebony, birdseye maple, satin, stainless steel. No movie theater in your house is ever complete without its own lobby. I mean, you gotta get your snacks from somewhere. This one's stocked with a candy bar, an ice cream parlor, a custom-made carpet that costs 70 grand, and a $90,000 antique chandelier by Lalique. We'll get to the total price tag in just a minute, but first, Theo wants to make something perfectly clear. It's not my favorite if I wanna be true to you. Theo doesn't want to take any credit for these. I wouldn't have put them here if you asked me, but these are original pieces, the client loves them. Sometimes you deliver the theater, you come back a year later and you pull your hair. You see in the theater all kinds of tchotchkes that they put in. Sometimes I have the nerve to tell them, get rid of it or I'm not coming back. This is where the magic happens. And this is where the cost of this theater goes even higher. And forget about fumbling around with DVDs. These home theaters have high-powered computer servers that can hold thousands of titles that you play with just a press of a button. Equipment, technology, projector, screen, it's about $600,000. And along with that super rich surround sound, you're also surrounded by pricey paint. We created a mural in front of the screen made out of platinum leaf, gold leaf, and bronze leaf. It was in the neighborhood of $40,000. Gold leaf paint, it's kind of like hot sauce. The more flamboyant rich, they put that on everything. I have a client that took a Lamborghini and gold plated it. Why do you gold plate a Lamborghini? I don't want to sound snooty, but you see a lot of unlimited wealth that comes with unlimited amount of bad taste. Beyond just theaters, Theo's also designed massive entertainment spaces. One super rich client asked him to create a shopping mall in his mansion. Another guy wanted an entire village in his backyard, complete with guest villas, an arcade, and of course, a mega home theater. But it all started with a Ziegfeld, one of the first theaters he ever designed. This theater is about 20 years old, I can't believe it. Total price tag, two and a half, million dollars. Theo says these movie mansions are even bigger overseas. The action right now is China, India, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, Saudi Arabia, Russia. With all the traveling around the world building movie theater palaces, Theo has finally found time no, to build no. the most important theater, his own. The projector is below the ceiling. The ceiling is the main feature in the theater surrounded by fiber optic lights that change colors. Compared with some of his clients, this theater is tiny, but it's packed with expensive, top-of-the-line technology. This is my theater where I can grab the movie that I want to see and close the door and I forget that I'm in the house. Theo tells us the tab for his tiny theater is only about a million bucks, but actually watching a movie here 
priceless. I feel like when I walk into the theater from the living room, I feel like Alex in Wonderland.